I'm not going to speak to PZ Myers. I can't speak to it. I don't know why I did it. I don't care about PZ Myers. He doesn't represent me. He represents the Academy and therefore the status quo. He represents inclusion into the Academy of a diverse population that has been given token status in the elite. He represents those who in previous generations were marginalized and silenced and not allowed to join the elite, but who now have wedged the door open for themselves and demand to be treated first class like the rest of the passengers in their part of the plane. I'm back by the bathrooms, dude. I have to smell it all. I have to hear it all. It's cramped quarters. There's no room to stretch your legs. It's noisy. And anybody can walk by down the aisle and take a crack at me or hit me in the head with their purse. So I don't really care about the academic elite. They control everything and I'm victimized by it all the time with their penal systems and their criminal law and their who gets to be in and their jargonistic language and there's no room for me. They've made that clear. Just because I'm intelligent, precocious doesn't mean I'm included. I left Atheism Plus because of the haters, the people on your comments, the people who cannot express an opinion, but who only vilify, bully, harass, insult. You got one genius on there that told another commenter they ought to commit suicide. I'm not up for that. What I see in your comment section is almost entirely pure poison and the people who have anything proactive and positive to say are being smacked down and that's not debate. Freedom of expression. You know, in your Atheism Plus video you compared the shaming and the shunning which I object to all the time and question all the time. People outright use the word shaming and I think, what? That's a Christian term. Why are we even using that word? I left because of the haters and I left because of the academes who have absolutely no interest in putting their boots on the ground and doing the work for social justice as secular activists. I keep talking about the Native American Reservation and out here in this little rural pedunk town where I live, if you're poor, you're inundated with nothing but messages of how unworthy you are. In fact, it's implied that your poverty has something to do with God's will because you're not a good enough believer. Every can of soup comes with a sermon about how sinful and corrupt and evil you are and unworthy of love, where everything's a guilt trip or an attempt at a guilt trip. So my little channel, when I talk about stuff that's emotionally charged, yeah, sometimes I turn on I mean, video ratings and sometimes comments only with moderation because other people come to my channel too who have issues and don't need to be triggered and I take the burden for them and I have to look at them but that doesn't mean that my subscribers do. I hardly ever turn comments off altogether. But I'll tell you what, concordance, it's not a level playing field, not by any stretch of the imagination. You're articulate and well spoken and you can make your arguments without being hurtful and hateful and cruel. I live surrounded by cruelty all the time. And I have real disabilities. And I've had enough poison in my life that caused the disabilities. And I live in deprivation and I live in isolation. My only social 
life is on the internet. I refuse to be silenced, to not have a YouTube channel because of the viciousness of toxic people. Those people are unhealthy too. They're pretending they're not. It's, a, it's like a predatory game. It's like hunting. See how vicious and cruel and toxic you can be to hurt other people. They're hurting themselves too because they live in that atmosphere of poison all the time. They're in complete and total denial of how psychologically unbalanced they are at the same time inflicting psychological unbalance on others. Not even just the people they're attacking, but the people who read the comments. I'm almost in tears from the comments on your video because it seems so overwhelming to me that we can't speak to each other with respect and have real debate, real rational discourse. There was hardly anything on your comment section that was even close to rational and very little critical thinking. I heard epithets against queer people. Oh, you believe in gay marriage and the church shouldn't interfere with gay marriage. But somebody couldn't wait to use an epithet against a woman that was queer related. I don't want to wade through filth. I don't mind open discussion of ideas and challenging each other. I don't mind that at all. But that's not what's happening. So yeah, people are forming camps and closing themselves off and becoming unwilling because what we're seeing is if we're willing and if we're willing to be open to listening to objections, we have to take abuse. Real abuse. And we're tired. The hate hurts. The hate is destructive. The hate is completely counterproductive. It's why people are forming into camps. And any atheism plus people who are doing the same, they've just drunk the same Kool-Aid. I wish men like you would speak to the issue of this hate. Because you know it, it exists. You said so in your Atheism Plus video. I wish we would challenge each other to be our best selves. Because you know there are people on the fence who are considering leaving their faiths. And they come and they see this and go running back to the shelter of a nice, tiny, confining worldview. Because this stuff is toxic. We need to teach each other how to debate issues. I've only picked things up because people say them in comments. You know, words like uh, straw man and stuff like that. I don't know any of these concepts. I don't even know where they come from. We need people to stick up and say, be your best self. Present your argument. Well, this hate. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be angry. I want to have open conversations, real exchanges of ideas. I want to be able to learn from other people, not be afraid of them. When are people going to start making videos about that? Because Atheism Plus is just about the bitterness and the hate too. And oh, I'm, they called me this. I don't want to talk about what the trolls and the haters are doing. I want to do something positive. There's a theocracy afoot in my culture. You know, I could never afford Sagan's Demon Haunted World. But I've seen quotes from it. I don't want to live in that. We can be so much better than this. But I don't know how to get there. Except to block people who are cruel and hateful. It's torture. It's verbal assault. I don't have the privilege and the luxury to indulge in that. I can't lose my sanity. Because I'm all I've got. And I think that deserves to be respected. I know it does. 
I don't want to put myself inside of a walled garden only talking to myself and a few other people. I'd like to participate in the discussion. And I keep having to silence myself. Because I can't take it. It doesn't make me weak. It doesn't make me self-pitying. It doesn't make me a professional victim. I have real limitations. Part of being a critical thinker is knowing how to integrate the intellectual with the emotional. And I do that. People who deny the emotional, pretend it's not important, they're really sick. We won't be able to progress as a species until and unless we can respect each other's limitations as animals who experience emotions instead of demanding that everybody pretend that we aren't and be talking heads and sick and toxic. I don't know why PZ did what PZ did. I have personal opinions about it, but those don't count for a hill of beans. I'm not responsible for him. I don't even know if he's responsible for himself. He should be. That doesn't mean that everything that's being said by PZ or by Atheism Plus or by anybody is invalidated because somebody can point at human frailty and go, aha! Atheism Plus wouldn't have been necessary if hate wasn't a sport on the internet. But it is. And Atheism Plus is a reaction to that. And I don't like reactionary movements. I really hoped that Atheism Plus could be secular activism for social justice. But it's not.